Hello friends, this video on triangles part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Little lengthy question. Triangle ABC and DBC are isosceles triangles. Are two isosceles triangles on the same base BC. So this is one isosceles triangle, this is another isosceles triangle. And then this is equal to this. And this is equal to this. Vertices A and D are on the same side of BC. If AD is extended to intersect BC and P, we have to prove that triangle A D. Let's, let's draw this. A, B, D, A, C, D are common. Prove that. Let's see. A, B, and A, C. Is there a relation? Yes. A, B is equal to A, C. A, D is equal to A, D common side. B, D and C, D. Yes. B, D and C, D. Yes, same. So by S, S, S congruency, you can see that they are same. Okay. So what we have done? We have proved that A, B, D, and A, D, C are same. Now, since we have proved it, let's mark these angles. Also, are same. Okay. It will help us. Actually. Three. Two. Or, or, for our reference, actually. Now, we have to prove angle triangle A, B, P, and A, C, P are common. A, B, P, and A, C, P. So let's draw this first. A, B, P, and A, C, P. Let's see the common side. A, B, A, C, yes, common. Sorry, this is equal given. A, P, A, C, P, A, P. A, P, A, P is also common side. Sorry, A, B, A, C is given. And A, P, A, P is common side, we can see. B, P, and P, C is there in relation? B, P, and P, C. There is B, P, and there is P, C. I don't see any relationship between this. Let's see any angle we can see. B, A, P. This is B, A, P. And C, A, P. C, A, P. Yes, they are equal. Right? You see these triangles are equal. B, A, P, and C, A, P. Now with this, side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So it is also congruent by side, angle, side. Right in plain English. Okay. Third is AP bisects angle A as well as angle D. AP bisects angle A. So you see AP bisects angle A because this angle is equal to this angle. This is proof. As well as angle D. So you see this angle D also, this angle is equal to this angle. Right? So it AD A AP bisects angle D also. This is also proof. Or if you want to prove this angle to this angle, it is also possible because this angle is nothing but 180 minus this angle. And this angle is nothing but 180 minus this angle. So these angles are also equal. Also, these two sides are equal, so this angle is also. You can prove by that way only. Yeah. AP is the perpendicular bisector of BC. AP is the perpendicular bisector of BC. Now to prove this, we have to prove this, this angle is equal to 90 degree. Okay, let this angle be angle 1 and this angle be angle 2. A, P, B. A, P, B is this angle 1. And A, P, C is angle 2. Now you show, you can see that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because these triangles are congruent. Right? Because of this. Therefore, angle 1 plus angle 2 is what? 180 degree. Well, linear pair. So, angle 1 is what? Or a divide that is 90 degree. So 90 degrees proof. This is 90. What about BP is equal to PC A to prove? Let's see here. BP is equal to PC A. That is also there. BP is also equal to PC A right? because we just proved that using this triangle. Yeah. BP is equal to PC. So this angle is 90 and these sides are 90, uh, equal. That means AP is perpendicular bisector of BC. Okay. I explained you the concept, you can write in plain English. So pretty easy question, we have seen this. AD is an altitude of isosceles triangle ABC, there is an isosceles triangle ABC. And AD is the altitude, right, where AB is equal to AC given. So we have to prove that AD bisects BC. And 
it's pretty easy, right? So when you prove that AD bisects BC, when you prove that this is equal to this, let's suppose this is D. So we have to prove VD is equal to DC. And it's pretty easy if you take these two triangles A, D, and B, A, D, and C, okay? These two triangles. This is equal to this. AB is equal to AC. Okay. This triangle is going to be this triangle, 90 degree. So they are congruent by RHS. Since they are congruent, VD is equal to DC. Two. Same thing, AD by 6 angle A. Since they are congruent, this angle is equal to this angle. So these angles are equal. Since angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash, I can say that AD by 6 angle DAC also. Well, pretty easy. Two sides AB and BC and a medium AM of triangle ABC are respectively equal to the side PQQR and medium PN of PQR. AB is equal to BC. So BC is, see medium bisects the side, so if BC is equal to QR, by 2 will also be equal to by 2, and BC by 2 is BM, so BM will also be equal to QR. Okay, this is also equal to this, and AM is equal to AM, AM is equal to PM and also. So we have to prove that triangle ABM, ABM and PQN, they are congruent. Pretty easy, right? You see all the three sides, corresponding sides are equal. So by SSS, they are congruent. You can just write that. Second is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Since these two triangles are congruent, I can say that these two angles are also equal. The first thing. Now, this is equal to this. BC is equal to QR given and this angle is equal to this angle. So these two triangles will be congruent by side angle side. Pretty easy. See, since these two triangles were congruent, these two triangles were congruent, I took this information out that angle B is equal to angle Q. This information I'm using to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. It is given that B and C F are two equal altitude of triangle ABC. So first let's draw triangle ABC. B E 90 degree. C F 90 degree. Because of the altitude. And they are equal. So given B E is equal to C F. Okay. So we have to prove that ABC is an isosceles angle. So we have to prove that. AB is equal to AC. Or if we can prove that angle, this angle is equal to this angle, angle B is equal to angle C. So this angle ABC is equal to angle AC. Same thing is fine. So you see this triangle and this triangle, this side is given equal, this angle is given equal. So we need to just see if any other sides are equal. Yes, this is a common side. So if you see this triangle, BC is common to BC. Angle F is equal to angle E. This is not correct. This has to be CD. Thus, this EC looks similar to FB. FC and FB. EB looks similar to FC. And BC looks again. If you see these two triangles, this is 90, this is 90. This is and BC is equal to BC is equal. These two triangles are congruent. Arches. Since these two triangles are congruent, I can say that this angle B is equal to angle C. And that is what I have to do. Right? This angle B and this angle C. So FBE, if you see, FBC is this angle. And ECB, ECB is this angle. So these two triangles are congruent. 
So these two angles are same, these two angles are the same, thus ABC is an isosceles triangle. It is other way around question. ABC is an isosceles triangle given. It's the triangle ABC, isosceles triangle, that means these sides are equal. And these, sorry, these angles are equal and these sides are equal. Here AB is going to be BC. We have to, prove, we have to draw AP. P is perpendicular to BC. We have to prove that angle B is equal to angle It is not required actually. You don't need to do that. AB is equal to AC, directly you can see that angle B is equal to angle C. But okay, if the question wants, what we can do is, we will not assume they are equal. We will say that this is equal to this, this is equal to this, common side, this angle is equal to this angle. By RHS, these two triangles, that is AP, APB, and APC, we will say that these two triangles are congruent, right? And then we can say that B is equal to C. But logically, if AB is equal to AC, then angle B is equal to angle C by D. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials. And you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.